It's the sure sign of a good time. The just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. It's time for this week's picks with DeMarco Farr and Tony Softley. Hello, I'm Tony Softley and sitting next to me is my man DeMarco Farr. And uh, you know what, let's talk about uh, the Rams and let's talk about uh, their game against the Giants this week. What do you think? Whoo, uh, just a heavyweight matchup. It, it's a big game for both teams because both teams have suffered through the injury bug. Now the Giants have had longer to deal with it. They had their, all their injuries in preseason, so they've had time to adjust to their new players. The Rams, you know, you're going to be without Steven Jackson for the first week. That's going to be something uh, to watch out for. Can Cadillac Williams carry the load? Now, when you look at the running back situation for the Rams, Steven Jackson made that running back core pretty intimidating by his size, 6'2", 240. Now you remove that, your biggest guy is now Cadillac Williams at 218. Right. And, and two backups at 205. So if the Rams can go out and establish the run just the way they did versus Philadelphia in New York without Steven Jackson, I think they have a great chance of winning this football game. You know what, I, I, like, the, I like their chances uh, on any given day, you know that's the deal, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Giants. One, because of home field advantage, but two, because of the defense. And the front is exceptional and with the linebacker core as well. The offensive line of the Rams, they took a beating last week. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure on Sam Bradford in a four-man rush. New York's going to bring not only the four-man, but they're also going to bring those linebackers, a safety off the edge. They're going to see a little bit different blitz package uh, than they saw last week. And so I, I, think, that, uh, I think that's what's going to establish it. The onus is on the old line. If they can protect Sam Bradford long enough and they can open up the holes like they did last week, they've got a great chance of winning. See, I see Sam Bradford and the Rams having a good chance to throw the football around this week because it's not like Philadelphia. Philadelphia puts their defensive ends and their defensive line in an advantageous position to rush the passer, and they'll give you the run. New York is going to try to stop the run, so therefore when you try to run those play-action passes, you'll have a chance to block those guys off the edge. and They just won't be coming scot-free to the quarterback. So I think Sam Bradford, and he's one of the better play-action passers mm -hmm. in the NFC West, probably in the league right now. Uh, he does a good job of hiding the football. I think he'll have a chance to protect himself by play action. Josh McDaniels knows this, so I still look for the same game plan. Attack the middle of the defense. Force everyone to collapse on the middle to your tight ends and then try to attack out wide vertically. You can make plays against this New York Giants uh, secondary going deep down the field. Washington did it. There's no question, uh, yeah. I, and I would agree with that. Now let's take a look at uh, you know the offense. Uh, Eli Manning, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't have Akeem Nix, or he might not have Akeem Nix. It's a game time uh, decision uh, for coach. Uh, but when you look at the two-headed monster, that big two-headed monster running back back there, I think these guys are going to have a chance to uh, pound these guys on defense. I think, I think the Rams are going to have to be exceptional on gap production and assignment sound. And, and what are your thoughts on that? That's the thing that scares me the most, because when you look at the, the called run plays that hurt the Rams, when you, when you think about LaShawn McCoy and how he had success, uh, they were off tackle. Uh, they, were, they were coming between the tackle and the, and the, uh, the tight end, right in between the, that C gap. Now, if you can imagine, LaShawn McCoy goes, what, 210 pounds at the most, yes. soaking wet? Now, yes. imagine 260 pounds That's what running about, about the same speed with Brandon Jacobs. That could be physically punishing for the St. Louis Rams. And Ahmad Bradshaw coming in there is, is a great back in his own right. So you're going to have to really sew it up. You just It's not good enough to have guys in gaps. You have to be in your gap enough to where you can make a play on the football and turn it back to your buddies. Yet to be seen. This has been a problem all through preseason for the Rams. You better get it sewed up against the Giants or they can just pound you down the field. Okay, prediction time. We've talked about offense, defense. Hmm. Special teams might play a little bit of a uh, uh, a key in what's going to happen here as far as a return, maybe, maybe not. What do you think? You make the pick, man. Wait a minute. Okay. Me, I'm still thinking. Right. I'm, still, go, I'm still I'll, factoring. Okay. Go ahead. He doesn't want to say it, no, but no, I No, no, I'm there. To. Go ahead. Uh, home field advantage. I'm going with the Giants oh. 2017 over the Rams. Now, keep in mind, I know everybody's out there hating me right now, but you know what? I picked the Rams to go 10-6 and six to win a, the NFC West. I still believe that despite all the injuries early. Uh, but this one's going to be a tough one on the road. Monday night football. It's a young football team. Can they handle uh, the big stage? And that's really going to be uh, the key to watch. Hard to disagree with everything you said, but I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and pick the Rams and not not to be a homer. I'm going to say this. It's I okay think, to be a homer. No, no. I think they're going to make Eli Manning's day very, very difficult. I think they're going to make him very, very uncomfortable. And he does not play well when he's under pressure. I think the defense actually steps up and wins this game for the Rams. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Rams on Monday night. There you go. You have it. Tony Softley and DeMarco Farr. You got it.